Hi, my name is Jim Nadonli. I'm with Samtech, and I work out of our um, design center, our Signal Integrity Design Center in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I'm here at DesignCon 2017, and we have the opportunity to do a electrical test on a push product of ours. It's a high-speed connector system that we call Flyover QSFP. Uh, we're using uh, Keysight equipment here. This is a 32-port VNA. It's coupled to um, a measurement software known as PLTS. And in one measurement, we're able to capture all 32 ports. So it's a lot of data that's captured quickly, and it's efficient. The, uh, the product that we're talking about is a high-speed cable assembly. It does a, a, it's a non-traditional approach toward pluggable modules. The high-speed signals come in from the pluggable module, which comes in down at this end. It goes through the QSFP connector over a set of low-loss twin-ax cables, it goes to a second connector, and the switch chip is located down in this end where all these cables are plugged in tight. This is in contrast to a traditional architecture where the high-speed signals come into the QSFP connector, route down into a printed circuit board, a lossy printed circuit board, and then come up to the switch chip. The advantage is much lower loss, and it enables 56 gig PAM4 operation, which is where the industry standards are really headed to. The data collected here today is shown on this screen in the form of differential return loss and differential insertion loss. It's also shown in the time domain as impedance and transmission. Uh, we think this has legs to go to 112 gigabit per second. And with the data that we're seeing here today, we're pretty confident that it's got a lot of headroom and uh, we're pretty excited about it. In addition to the work that we're doing here, we also have a paper at DesignCon that's being presented at two o'clock that talks about the EMI aspects of this. Uh, we recognize that EMI is a concern and we're trying to do some work on that and we've partnered with the university on it. If you'd like to know more about it, visit our website at www.samtech.com.